Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to look at the Windows Clock. That's right. The Windows Clock has amazing features like timers, a stopwatch, a global clock, and drum roll, please. Focus sessions. Let me show you. Okay, to bring up the clock app, we're gonna go down to search and search for clock. There's the app, go ahead and click it to run. Okay, now what you'll notice here is the clock app has some basic tools, common tools that you would see in a clock app, such as a timer. So here you have some default set timers that you can choose from, or you can click on a timer and you can adjust the duration here. You can also make more timers by clicking the plus at the bottom right. You can set your duration and you can name it and save. And there's our new timer. And so you can play the timer and you can minimize this while you're working and you will hear an alarm when the timer runs out. Now, if you are, let's say, presenting in an online meeting or teaching a class, you can click here to expand your timer and show it to your audience. And you can also move it around the screen to position it wherever you'd like. All right, let's get back out of full screen. The other thing you have is an alarm. Yes, you can actually use this clock as an alarm. Simply turn it on and set your time here. Then we also have the stopwatch. And you can see here's our timer. It is done. We get that nice alarm tone to let us know that the timer has completed. And you can just close it there to hush it. All right, so back to the stopwatch. Here you can go ahead and run this like you would any stopwatch to measure the amount of time it takes to get something completed. Then we have the world clock. And here you're going to see your local time, but you can come down to the bottom right and you can add additional time zones. Simply search for a location I'll put in Tokyo, Japan, and add. And I'll add another one. I'll put in Belize and add. And what I like about this is we also have a visual map showing us the exact locations of these time zones. Also down here, you can click on compare. This will allow you to look at times in the future to see what time it will be in those other time zones. This is handy when you want to find out what's the best time to make a phone call to somebody that lives in those time zones. I'll go ahead and click back. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is this right here, focus sessions. This is a newer tool that's built into the clock. This allows you to focus on your tasks. So what I can do here is I can set the duration of time that I would like to work on specific tasks. Now, if you're going a longer duration, say 60 minutes, you can actually have a break. You notice here it says you'll have one break. If you don't want breaks, you can go ahead and skip that by checking the box here. I'll go ahead and leave the break in because, you know, I think it's important to take a break now and again to keep your mind fresh. All right, down below that, you have tasks. You can add tasks that you would like to work on during this focus session. And I can click select for session to add this task to this session I'm currently setting up. And you can add more tasks to your session as well. Notice here off to the right, you're gonna see daily progress. This is nice because over time, it's gonna show you how much time you've spent focused on your tasks. Below that, you're going to have the ability to link in Spotify if you'd like to play music and ambiance while you are working. Okay, and then all I have to do is click Start Focus Session. This will start the clock. Notice here I'm going to work for 27 minutes, and then I'm going to get a five-minute break. 
Down here, you can see that I'm working on the develop music curriculum task. And once completed, I can go ahead and mark that as a completed task. Okay, and that is how you use the Clock app in Windows 11. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more of this content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please complete the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.